at a time for music five. A great friend of Hask and star of last year's show. Let's hear it for Yigal Salik. Thank you very much. Good evening. It's a wonderful feeling to be on this stage again. It's even a greater feeling. Thank you. It's even a greater feeling to participate in tonight's performance without actually taking part. It's wonderful to be able to actually watch the show together with you. The magnificent orchestra, Israel Lamb, MBT. I'm looking forward to a wonderful evening together with you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Husk household is a household name. The organizers, the directors, the counselors, and all the helpers are the pillars that hold up this stately house. They are the lions amongst us. I'm so grateful to be part of this family. I'm so proud that my name is mentioned amongst them. As I'm about to present to you the next item in tonight's performance, my thoughts take me far away back to Europe, to Russia. Come with me to the little town of Berdichev, Erev Yom Kippurim, the purest and holiest of days is descending upon the shtetl of Badichev. The shul is full to capacity. All the Eden are gathered together, Kitlach, Talesim, they're all waiting. They're waiting for the Badichev of Ablevi Yitzchak Badichev to lead the community in prayer. But there he is standing by the Teva, covered in his talus, and he wouldn't begin. And the congregation is waiting, and he would not begin. Still not moving, and so they wait the aim of a year for a long hour. And finally, the Heilige Berdicheva turns to the congregation, his eyes fixed somewhere in the high and old ceiling, and he says, Yidin, I will tell you, my children, what it was that kept me. I will tell you what took place in Shomayim while you were waiting for me to start Kol Nidre. There is a Yid amongst us, an ex Cantonist. Everybody knew what a Cantonist was. A Cantonist was a little child that the Tsar would decree to take away from his mother and father, sometimes at the age of six or seven or eight. These little Jewish boys would be taken away to be trained to serve in the Russian army. And they would be deprived from all Yiddish surrounding from anything and they would spend many years of cruelty and hard work in complete goish surrounding and there they would stay until the age of 40 or so and those of them that would come back to the Jewish communities would hardly remember anything this cantonist that was released from the army, made his way towards some Jewish settlement, and he came to the city of Badichev. And he came to Shul because it was Erev Yom Kippur. And said the Badichev to his congregation, he came to our Shul and he sat amongst us. And he saw the community ready for the Holy of Holy Days ready to pour their hearts before Melech Malcha Lochim, And he too wanted to say a prayer to the Reboyne Shalailo. And, and, and he said, Reboyne Shalailo, I want to say a prayer to you, but I, I can't pray. You know that I don't know any tefillahs. 
All I remember is the Aleph base. I remember the Aleph base. My father taught me before they took me away. You, you are the master of all tefillas. You, you are the composer of all songs. I will say the Aleph base before you. And you will take my letters and you make from them a tefillah. And this tefillah will be a crown on your head. And so he said, Aleph, Beis, Gimel, Dalet, Hey, Vav, and the Heilige Badichava said to the congregation with his eyes streaming with tears. He said, and I was waiting for the Rebbeinu Shalom to take the letters, to take the Aleph Beis, and to make a tefillah, and to make a composition, and to make a song. And now that the song is finished, we're ready to start in Dublin. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to call upon a real master, a very special child, a child from Husk, Yidl Stern, who is going to play for us. Yidl Stern is a master cantonist. 